So anyway, just to give you a little background about my company, Industrial Asset Recyclers, which I started about 12 years ago, uh, basically we started selling um, primarily used equipment, industrial equipment, tools, heating and ventilating equipment, uh, industrial process equipment, electrical equipment on eBay. And now we've gotten to a point where we have a, about a 20,000 square foot warehouse in Venetia, and we're rebranding ourselves. In addition to our industrial surplus business, we are rebranding ourselves as a discount industrial supplier. So we're gonna be doing a lot of drop shipping. And one of the problems we found was is we had all these great deals for our buyers, but they were like one-off deals, and they said, I'd like to buy six more of those. And I says, unfortunately, these are closeouts or companies that close down or discontinued items, and unfortunately, we don't have any more of these items. And they said, well, we'd like to continue to do business with you. And I said, we would like that very much too, thank you. And uh, so now we're, we're, we've taken on uh, different lines of uh, equipment. For example, we got approached by a company in Canada who makes wood-fired boilers. And these are for users who live out in the hinterlands that don't have natural gas. They're primarily, primarily up, uh, up north, like in Washington State, and Wyoming, New York, Maine. And uh, all these people have is propane, and it's gotten very, very expensive. So we probably sold 60 of these wood-fired boilers, and we don't, you know, we don't make a lot of money on them. But we don't touch them either. We we, we ship them right from the right from the warehouse. So we still have about 40 of those left. And then we've taken on a line of biodegradable metal and stone cutting fluids. And the, this is a cutting fluid that doesn't harm the environment and it's diluted with water 20 to 1. And then we have another um, line of gas analyzers that are made in Italy and that's for the heating and ventilating industry to analyze how much carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide and nitrogen and you know all the other gases that are important in the air. So anyway, so let me uh, get back to my presentation here. Uh, our mission is to optimize the use of client assets to benefit the environment and maximize the assets' financial and functional utility. So in addition to having to scrap a minority of the items that we take in, most of the items uh, that we take in are functional and people are able to get uh, the benefit of the balance of the useful life of the item. So for example, we might get in a lathe or a milling machine or uh, an air conditioning unit or a chiller or a cooling tower, electrical items like transformers and circuit breakers. I mean, we, at one point we even got in some medical equipment, operating tables and um, x-ray equipment. So it's, it, it's a lot of fun because I don't get bored. Every week there's something new. Something different. And then I have to educate myself about the function of the item, and, and then I have to uh, assess the value of the item. Now, most of the stuff that we take in, we buy, but some of the stuff we also take in, in on consignment. So we, we charge the consigner a fee, and we take care of all the shipping, and we have a totally computerized database. Well, we have about 6,000 items in, in, in our inventory, and we have a few people in the warehouse. In addition to eBay, we, we now we have our own website with layered navigation. I don't know if everybody knows what that means. You can choose all the different attributes like amps and volts and the color and all these different things and you can mine right in and on exactly what you want. So in addition to eBay, we're also selling on Amazon, uh, Google, Google Shopping, and we're even getting on Yahoo. So. So it's, it's about getting up to speed with the latest uh, internet marketing technology. Huh? So the typical asset profiles that we have are, as I said, heating and ventilating equipment, electrical and mechanical distribution components, 
automation and controls, which are all the things that operate machinery. They either work with air or electricity or hydraulics. Uh, we have a lot of lighting fixtures, both residential and industrial. Uh, we also have a, a dropship line of LED lighting. That's getting to be a very big thing because LED lights have a useful life of 25 to 50,000 hours, whereas fluorescent has a useful life of 10 to 15, 20, and incandescent, 1,000, 1,500. And incandescent's pretty much phased out now. And then we also, you know, get some construction equipment and materials. We had an opportunity, we, we this is not one of my smartest uh, business moves, but I got a, took in 20,000 uh, kitchen and bathroom cabinets. That's going a little slow selling. So anybody looking for a great deal, we're selling plastic laminate countertops, 12 feet long, $29.95. Is that a deal? We have six, 600 of them, 20 different color patterns, okay? So if somebody has an apartment house or, or a little rental that they want to, looking for you know, cheap stuff, you know, tell a friend. And we have this stuff on Craigslist too, all over California. Uh, we sell material handling equipment, forklifts, conveyors, storage equipment, manufacturing and industrial process equipment, and metal and woodworking machinery. And our typical clients, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory here. I don't have to read the list. And uh, we're, we're not affiliated with all of these companies, this, this presentation is about three years old and I haven't brought it up to speed, but uh, we're probably affiliated with about a third of them now. And here's a list of some of our clients. DPR is a billion dollar contractor. They do like, they do a lot of work for Kaiser and other big medical facilities. They do computer centers. Chipman United Van, Van Lines is a big uh, moving company, they have five locations and they called us in about four years ago and they said, we bought this BP solar plant in Fairfield and it has all this heavy duty electrical and mechanical stuff and it's getting in our way, can you get us some money for it? So we wound up deconstructing all this stuff and we got them about $100,000 and charged them a fee and money to remove it. And then Rexel Pacific is a very large electrical uh, and, uh, distributor, they have over 2,000 warehouse locations in the United States, they're, they're, they're a French-owned company, and they order stuff and people cancel special orders and they have overruns, so we pick up the stuff for five, ten cents on the dollar. I reuse is a company that interfaces with corporations like Schwab and Wells Fargo, and when these companies have older equipment that they want to get rid of, they donate it, okay? so. We, we pay them a few bucks and they take care of that. St. Francis, yeah, Francis Electric is an electrical contractor. Bell Products is up here in Napa. They're a big heating and ventilating company. Pacific Rim Mechanical down in San Diego. They're, they have like two, three hundred people. We just do stuff with them. Entech rents and sells uh, chillers and cooling towers. That's, those are items that are used to chill water and air in the uh, heating and ventilating industry. And then air sheet metal is another HVAC contractor. So we can come in and we can value or you know assess or appraise the value and give the, the client a spreadsheet of the low and what we feel is the low and the high selling price. And then we, we find out what the client's needs are. I mean, most of our clients are not in a dire financial situation. So to them, this stuff is just taking up space and whatever money they can get out of it's found money to them because they've written it off. I mean, we've had other situations where people were in bankruptcy and we've had a, you know, jump through some hoops to make that work. So, so we, we used to auction a lot of items, but because it's so specialized and on, on the eBay, eBay format, people don't want to bother with the auction format because you know you got to wait five seven days they're in a hurry they just want to buy stuff i don't i don't like to fool around with auctions myself i just want to buy it most of our stuff you can make an offer if it's reasonable within two-thirds to eighty percent of the price we'll take the offer um we we do you know complete inventory we take all the pictures we weigh it we measure it so we're able to to give the client complete 
uh, reports of what it sold for, when it sold. Uh, we, we, we're doing a, a monthly newsletter now. We have over si seven, 8,000 active clients who went through and called all of all the dead emails. So, so we just sent out a, a newsletter and then we, as I said, we do the billing and the, and the uh, oh, what did I do here? And the, so this is our process. Here's an old picture of our warehouse. It's a lot more filled up with stuff and it's, it's expanded now. So Here's another picture. We're in the J.R. Schneider building near the, um, near the artist studios on Jackson and Polk. So um, we originally wound up in this Venetia location about 10 years ago because um, Steve Schneider uh, saw me just walking around the area talking to people and he says, hey, we just closed down our plant. We had to lay off 50 people. We have all the surplus stuff. We have tools, we have welders, we have circuit breakers. Can you sell it? I said, sure. So we sold it off for him on consignment and he was a, he was a happy camper. So we just started expanding in, in the space. You know? Yeah, here's, here's some uh, air conditioning units that we're, we sold. Here's some lighting. Uh, let's see, DPR Microsoft, we got 140 high-end light fixtures from their Microsoft office job that they did. And we took them in and they said, oh, We'd like to buy some back from you. We have a job in Marin, so we, we worked that out. Oh, that was the, yeah, that was the DPR Autodesk deal. And I reused when, when George Lucas built the big facility in the Presidio, they had four truck and trailer loads left over of brand new Class A ceiling tile, lighting fixtures, heating and, heating and ventilating equipment, all brand new stuff. We picked it up really inexpensively. That's all been pretty much sold off. Here's some. Here's a picture of the ceiling tiles and a and a blower unit. Chipman. That was the solar plant I talked about. The uh, old BP solar plant. They didn't want to use the, the solar panels on the roof, so we took off 80 solar panels. And at the time, used solar panels. We sold them for $500 a piece. Now you can buy them for 150. Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah. Here's some more equipment from the Chipman job. There's a chiller in the lower right-hand corner, a cooling tower in the upper right-hand corner, upper left-hand corner is a solar panel, and the lower left-hand corner is a, is a water uh, boiler. Pfizer in South San Francisco, this company called us up in South San Francisco, we've got four big chillers, we're pulling them off the roof, can you have a truck there on Saturday? Sure, boom, 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 in 36 hours we had it all together. Here's one of the, one of the chillers. Electrical services, they do a lot of installation work for Safeway and Walmart. They're, they're, they're so cost conscious, they buy all their electrical materials and their own lighting fixtures. So they just bring in the contractors for the labor, but then they change their minds, so then they, they have fixtures left over and stuff like that, so we wind up getting that stuff. And this is you know why our clients like to work with us. We, we, we used to be uh, involved with, uh, with the lead, you know, the leadership and environmental design, right? And that's it.